And now let's go for an overview of all delay analysis methods. These are the only delay analysis methods. Some people argue that we have this, you know, method or that method. No, this is all the methods we have right now. These are six methods from the Society of Construction Law Delay and Disruption Protocol. They are the most reliable and the trusted methods. So for construction industry, we will not talk about all of them. But let's say, for example, one IT project, you know, for an IT developer, they can work with a client and the client also. But of course, I'm talking about, you know, like mega scale projects, you know, not just one website or something like that. But the client has it changes also. Say, for example, they have two years to develop one big project, IT project. So the client wanted to do some changes. So also the IT developer can claim delay, you know, and do the delay analysis for this particular project. But the method is different because IT and construction models are so different. IT is more of agile. They adapt to changes quickly and better than construction. For construction industry, so a contractor can have three floors of concrete done and the client wants to change them. No, it's done. The cost of a change is very, very high. So the model is not agile in construction. So maybe the, the most reliable three method is impacted as planned analysis, time impact analysis and collapsed as built. The other is not really used and there are some serious weaknesses about them. So we will talk, maybe we will provide the comparison between impacted as planned analysis and the time impact analysis. But what we will be using in this course is the time impact analysis because, you know, we will see later why it is the strongest method, why it has many, many advantages. And uh, bottom line is there is no right or wrong in the daily analysis method. Some people are just trying hard. They are, they are proactive, you know, to provide best practices to, but there is nothing, you know, like uh, required by law, for example. We have practices, we have standards, but we do not have uh, something required by law or required in court. This way has to be done like that, or it's not like that. Delay analysis is still people are trying. People are, so I have seen people using the time impact analysis, but they are doing some changes for whatever reason. So you have to understand that. So when we deal with the method, the delay analysis method, so there are prospective methods. So prospective method is on this data date, whatever it's a baseline or a schedule update, but on this particular date, I am forecasting the impact of this event. So the delay did not happen yet. I am forecasting how it will look like as a result of some assumptions or series of activities. And for time in analysis, we use the contemporary records, which is the schedule update. So we'll talk about the comparison later, but contemporary records, which is the recent schedule updates, is what makes the TIA or TIA time impact analysis is stronger than other methods. Collapsed as built is retrospectively. It is the opposite of prospective. So at some point of time, I am having this schedule update and it's showing me three months of delay in the project because it we are dealing with actual data, actual dates and actual percentages. So it's hard really to tell, you know, how the three month delay occurred. You know that there is one driver for the longest path. This activity is delayed by three months, obviously. But what happened before that is unclear. So for retrospective analysis is you do not forecast event impact, but rather you investigate the as built information. So you have now the original duration versus actual duration. You can do the comparison and also actual versus planned dates, the logic, what did you maintain, you know, and the logic schedule changes. So retrospective is you are investigating, you know, the as built information, the actual information to come up with the delay or analysis evaluation. So this is a difference between perspective and retrospective. Retrospective is really, really hard. You can imagine right now if you are working with retrospective method, 
It's very, very hard, very, very challenging. Perspective is uh, much better. It has some advantages also we will talk about later. If you want to learn more about delay analysis, you can join our course, Delay Analysis Mastery. Visit www.smartpmtraining.com or you can register immediately at the link below the video.